So you don't really understand the point of an ambient occlusion map. Not a problem. Now a lot of new 3D users don't really see the point of splitting the albedo, aka color, from the shadows, aka ambient occlusion. Which is understandable, but the short answer to why you would is it just gives you more control over the final look of your asset and just helps keep your options open. It's like separating the shadows onto an extra layer in Photoshop. It just gives you more control and flexibility if you want to change things later without messing everything up on the original image. You can put the color and the shadows together into one map we usually call this a diffuse map but when you have it separate now you have total control over the shadows now i actually know some 3d artists who use the ao to actually give the shadows a specific color to bring out certain areas of the work you can also use it to accentuate things like cracks on a wall and from a game dev perspective sometimes just adding the shadows directly on an ao is a lot cheaper than trying to calculate them in real time with lighting but my personal best use case scenario that I've found is in a custom color scheme system like Armored Core, it lets the player adjust the colors however they want without fucking up the shadows because they're on a completely separate layer. Otherwise, you have to worry about the color changes bleeding into the shadows and things can get really messy really fast. So try them out. There's a lot of other things you can do with them too. And let me know down in the comments what you use them for personally.